by understanding the soil beneath our feet, we have a better chance of not destroying one of the world's most valuable resources, a resource which is basic to all life processes. Good crop production often requires the application of lime and or fertilizers. By testing the soil, one is able to determine the makeup of the soil and how much lime and or fertilizer should be applied to ensure healthy, productive crops. A soil survey is the process of classifying and mapping soil types and soil properties in a given area. Probably that one. The information gathered from soil surveys can be used by farmers, architects, engineers, even town planners to determine specific land uses, soil management and formulating agricultural research and extension programs. We actually do soil survey based on request on different levels or scales. Mostly you find that you do soil survey on detailed scales being requested by farmers to actually understand their own soils, where, what kind of soils do they have, how deep they are and what soil forms do they have in their land. If funds permit, farmers are encouraged to have a soil survey done on their land after which representative samples are tested in a laboratory. If we know where the different soils are located in South Africa, we can use that information for planning. We know where the good agricultural soils are. We can keep them for agriculture. We know where the soils are that are highly erodible. We know where the rocky areas are, the sandy soils and so on. And that allows us to do planning for yield planning, grazing capacity and all other agricultural aspects that's important for food security in South Africa. A soil survey is followed by soil sampling. The first step is to select a sampling site. This should include an area of similar soil texture and slope. It should be one hectare or smaller. Sampling equipment should include a clean spade, plastic or paper bags for the samples, a permanent marker pen, and a bucket. Use a clean spade to dig a hole the depth and width of the spade. Remove a slice of soil. Remove the outside portions of the sample. The sample should be approximately 1 kilogram. Place the sample in a clean plastic or paper bag. Use the marker pen to label the sample. To acquire a fair representation of the soil types on your selected piece of land, take samples from a number of sampling sites. To save costs, farmers may mix nine samples to obtain a representative sample of the soil on the land. However, the farmer needs to ensure that the area sampled is no bigger than one hectare and that soils in that specific area are uniform. The ARC recommends that all nine samples are tested as there is no guarantee that the test from combined soils will provide accurate results. Between each sample, clean the spade thoroughly. Once sampling has been completed, the samples can be sent to the Agricultural Research Council's Soil, Climate and Water Campus in Pretoria. Music 
soil samples can be mailed or delivered to the Agricultural Research Council's Soil, Climate and Water Campus in Pretoria. Samples should be labelled clearly with the name and address of the ARC laboratory as well as the name, address and other contact details of the farmer. A submission form is also completed. The sample data is recorded and registered on the ARC database. A unique lab number is then allocated to each sample. If the sample is wet, it will be dried before it's sent to the milling section. The sample is milled or ground until it becomes powder. The milled sample is then placed into a container marked with the unique lab number allocated during registration. Milling is followed by the extraction phase. This process enables the extraction of any chemicals that may be present in the sample. Advanced equipment is used to analyze the sample. The results are recorded on the ARC's database. A data interpretation form is created and the results are shared with the farmer. The benefit to farmers is they would have a, a in-depth knowledge of the chemical nutrients that are within their soil and basically we advise them to do pre-cultivation and post-harvesting analysis so that they know before they plant what is in their soil and after they've cultivated what has been taken out by the plant on the soil and they get a fertilizer recommendation so that they can balance and, and, and actually get the best out of their soil. There is what they call farmers package that actually deals with mostly the kind of analysis that farmers requires. 